Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, we're going to find the interquartile range. Now, what the interquartile range is, is it's basically the range of the middle 50% of all of our data. All right? So the way we're going to work this is first we're going to organize all of our data from lowest to highest. Then we're going to find the median of the upper half and the median of the lower half. And then we're going to subtract the two in order to find that range. Okay? So let's see how this process works out. So first, I'm going to take all of this data and just write it out from lowest to highest. This will just allow me to get a better visual sense of where the median of the upper half and lower half fall. There we go. There's all of our data. Now you'll notice that I have an odd number of data points. This actually makes a little bit of a difference. It means that when I go to find the median of the upper half and the median of the lower half, I first have to find the median of the entire set of data. So imagine working from both ends to find that middle point. And it looks like it's 10. Now since we have an odd number of data points here, when I go to find the median of the lower half and the upper half, I'm not going to include the 10. So now let's find the median of this lower half and the median of the upper half. Let's say I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven values here. The median would be the seven. Let's see for the upper half, looks like the median would be the 15. Now some books actually give these names, they call them Q1 and Q3. That's okay, because what we're basically going to do is now take Q3 and subtract Q1. So 15 minus the 7. That will give us an answer of 8. And that 8 happens to be our interquartile range. Now this example works out slightly different if you have an even number of data points. Basically you would find the median and then find your, your lower median and upper median and subtract the two from there. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.